On Friday, Victor Escobar took the decision to end his life. Blessings and hugs to everyone. I love you very much. I won't say goodbye, just see you later. The 60-year-old suffered from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, among other conditions, which severely diminished his quality of life. Escobar became the first person in Colombia to undergo euthanasia for a non-terminal illness. His lawyer, Luis Giraldo, confirmed the procedure had been completed. His decision to die with dignity was carried out. We would like to be happy. We would like to celebrate that Victor's decision was carried out. But it's not like that. Victor suffered a lot. But in the end, he won the battle. Escobar fought for two years for his rights to euthanasia in the face of refusal by doctors, clinics and courts to allow him to carry out his wish. This past July, Colombia's top court changed the rules for euthanasia and recognized the right to die with dignity should not be available just for the terminally ill. We've managed to achieve this objective so that patients like me, who are not terminal but are in a degenerative condition, can win this battle. It's a battle which opens the doors for other patients behind me who wish to have a dignified death right now. <coughs> Escobar suffered two strokes back in 2008, which limited his movement. He said for him, quote, life ended a long time ago. The practice of using euthanasia for those considered to have fewer than six months to live has been allowed for more than 20 years in Colombia. Legal rights advocacy groups say at least 178 people have undergone the procedure since 2015. Dan Collins, CGTN.